Okay, so this is the table that I'm going to build and it's very simple build actually and it comes with the hairpin legs. It's the first uh, hairpin table I've actually ever built. It comes with two layers so you can put your books in there and everything. And this was a very easy build, very simple. Anybody can do it. So thank you so much for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a 120 grit sandpaper and this is gonna give me a pretty smooth finish. Now the tape at the top actually already came uh, pretty smooth from Home Depot and I didn't go any further than 120 grit. And then I brought it inside and really just wiped down all that sand and uh, dust from the sandpaper and the uh, wood. And I did that with a damp cloth, did that for the other table and there you go. Now I'm going to be adding a pre-stained wood conditioner and this is going to make sure the wood stain does not look blotchy and it really has a nice even look and this I use pretty much just kind of go wild with this yeah I don't hold back with this stuff sometimes maybe but not this time and I did that for the other table as well yeah Okay, so now while this dries, which takes about 15 minutes, I actually flip it up on the other side and I add the dark walnut stain. And this way I can do something while that dries instead of just sitting or doing something else, I guess. So I did that for the other table as well. And then my mask was actually coming off. So I had to go grab another one. Yeah, okay. There we go. I am back at it. Alrighty, so I actually started adding the polyacrylic after putting that coat on the, the top. And I noticed that this didn't dry well. It wasn't smooth at all. Not a good finish. So I went out and sanded it all down. Yes, all that work I sanded down. And now it, it feels really smooth. And I applied another coat of dark walnut on the top. Okay, so now I'm going to be cleaning off the pipe fittings with some acetone and I'm gonna get all that grease off. Really, this is my least favorite job. Very tedious and plus acetone really, really smells. And now I'm gonna take some steel wool and I'm gonna wipe down all the pipe fittings so this way the lacquer is going to adhere better. Okay, so I'm gonna use some Krylon Fusion All-in-One Rust Protector. This is a clear coat lacquer, and this is gonna give me that extra amount of protection on all these fittings. Now I'm gonna sand down the first coat. That way all those, um, when the grain raises, I'm gonna get a smooth, smoother finish. I actually, do that between each coat. I sand with about a thousand, 400 to a thousand grit sandpaper. Now I'm adding the second coat of polyacrylic water based on here. And now I actually flip up the other table upside down and add and seal the bottom as well. That way I seal the whole entire table. Okay, now it's time to put the hairpin legs on. Again, I got these from Amazon for $30 and I'm just gonna pre-drill, very easy to put on. Anybody can do this. I mean, I'm really sure your pet could probably do this as well. So now I'm just gonna screw them in. Again, this is really easy. I actually, this is my first hairpin table and I'm really pleased how it turned out. Okay, so now the table is complete. Okay, actually no, just the bottom part is complete with the legs attached. I'm very happy how it turned out. Now I'm going to be attaching the top part of this table. 
So I'm just gonna be lining up the middle pipe fittings and I'm gonna screw them in. And this will allow me to attach the top table. Very simple, very easy. Actually, this was kind of giving me a hard time, but I got through it. And just kind of tighten them a bit more. There we go. Now it's time to put on the top table. So I have to line it up, make sure everything's level, even. And this was kind of actually challenging a little bit. Again, just uh, a bit time consuming, but eventually I pulled through. Again, it was a test of my patience. Okay, so I got this neat tool. Actually, this was recommended from 731 Woodworks in their video. And this thing works really well in like tight uh, quarters, like really in tight places hard to get at and actually this was really challenging at first just trying to get the screw to stay in place so what I actually had to do is I needed some weight on top just to apply some pressure so I actually got a brick a concrete brick and that worked out pretty good actually so that was pretty cool and still kind of give me some little bit of difficulty but I got through this and eventually got all the screws in there Now I'm going to be adding the corner uh, supports, the pipe supports. And again, I only added two of these. I actually probably should have added four just for that extra strength. But I kind of wanted to have this table seem like it has a floating uh, top. 